everyone. Well, thank you for joining us here to talk about ETL modernization. Um, I've got a couple special guests with me from AWS. Uh, we've got Yev, who's a senior go-to-market specialist for Glue, uh, as well as Harsha, who's a principal solution architect uh, at AWS. I'm going to pass it off initially to, uh, to Yev. He's going to talk about all the benefits of Glue uh, that it brings to enterprises, and then we'll get into modernization. Yeah. Hi, everyone. Uh, thanks for joining us uh, on this Thursday. So I'm Yev, go-to-market specialist for AWS Glue. And for folks who are not aware of what Glue is, uh, I'm going to give you a quick intro. So Glue is a serverless data integration service for easy to discover, prepare, and combine data for analytics, machine learning, and application development. So when it comes to data, in data integration, it's critical to build uh, modern data platforms, but our customers are facing many challenges. And when it comes to our customers, you know, we sort of like split it from within IT leadership challenges, data engineering challenges, and business team challenges. So from IT leadership, you know, the, the current tools that they are using, they're constantly getting more expensive year over year. There's no multi-persona support, so they have to have multiple solutions for different things that they need to do. And then when it comes to lock-in, they get locked in within proprietary code as well as multi-year agreement. From data engineering challenges, right, there's infrastructure management, right? They, they always try to wait for the infrastructure to become available on-prem, and it's not scalable, right? There's also the multi uh, multiple tools that they have to learn, one for streaming, one for Spark, you know, and, they, and, it, and it puts constraints on, on that organization. When it comes to business team challenges, there's a lack of agility, there's lack of self-service, and uh, there's always missed SLAs, and that, uh, those business teams are always trying to improve the SLA time. <coughs> so how does Glue fit uh, into more than data stack? So it has purpose-built data services, right? There's a data lake. There's a seamless data movement and sharing. There's unified data governance. And it's scalable, performant, and cost-effective. Now, within Glue, we basically offer many ways how you can bring your data in or push your data out whenever you, wherever you need. So we offer our built-in connectors for all, all of the native services right, within AWS. We also offer marketplace connectors where you can connect uh, to Snowflake, SAP, BigQuery, et cetera. And we offer custom connectors where you connect through GABC to basically any source. So by using Glue, you basically can move your data, bring your data in, or push your data out from anywhere to anywhere. And now I will introduce Harsha Tariparthi, who will dive in on how some of the users are using Glue. Thank you. Thank you, Yev. So let me talk to you about why customers are modernizing their ETL. IT leaders do not value their teams managing IT infrastructure. Rather, they'd like their teams to focus more on building business applications. And customers do realize the fact that there is seamless integration when they move their applications into cloud, and they're also seeing that at a lower cost. And proprietary tools come with high costs that are of proprietary uh, costs, as well as vendor code lock-in, and these customers when they move to Glue, see up to 7x cost savings based on those licensing costs compared to proprietary alternatives. And like a lot of the cloud applications, we see customers realize the fact that this, the platform scalability is fairly seamless and comes within the Glue platform, and thereby savings costs for them from a total cost of ownership by up to 55%. So some of the use cases that we see customers bring to modernization using Glue are primarily you know, with no specific order, self-service data integration. Glue is built for all personas in the organization and uh, allows users to use interfaces that were built to make it easy integration for developer, data developers or uh, data engineers or uh, you know, data analysts and data scientists. And uh, you know, there's there's data lake integrations built within the platform, like you mentioned, with connectors, very rich connectors, set of frameworks built in. 
and also customers bring in their legacy migration from ETL code that's, that's, that's in their on-prem and wanting to modernize that. And uh, also, as, as more and more customers are looking at migrating into a more of a data mesh type of framework, they do see uh, the, those use cases where how would Glue help them fit into that modernization in a data mesh architecture. Um, and, and there's also a few more which are, I think, more important in this particular context, specifically the data warehouse modernization, where there's ETL, a lot of the ELT code that's, built, that's built within the data warehouse. Uh, and then wanting to migrate that into the cloud platform. And also, there's a lot of investments customers have made in, in on-prem Hadoop platforms, and uh, those platforms are essentially something that go cannot and scale, out. and customers are looking to migrate those into the cloud. And, um, and then the, the cloud platform with AWS Glue helps customers to get the data integration with machine learning as well as the catalog uh, built within the uh, framework itself. So what are the challenges customers are seeing when they're migrating AWS to AWS Glue and are modernizing their ETL into AWS Glue? So it's primarily you know, something that comes with a very high risk because it, it, the ETL logic has a lot of the business critical functions within an organization. And it's very important to ensure that everything comes as it should be. And it's, it's in general associated with high risk as well as costs that are also uh, pretty high when you're trying to do so. And, um, and, and, and a lot of that is manual, cumbersome, and time consuming when, 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 when you try to do that uh, modernization for thousands of jobs that you have. Uh, and um, when migrating platforms, uh, I, I know a lot of you probably have already experienced this, cross-platform comes with a lot of uh, you know, tuning that you'll have to do, could, could be a performance challenges, because you need that parity of right performance that you needed to bring from that prior system to the newer platform in, in the Spark in this particular case. Um, and and also, you know, which ETL job does not have, or, or sort of ETL jobs does not have, group of automation built with orchestration, right? And and lifting that and migrating that over to the Glue Cloud platform requires a lot of that overhead that you'll have to manage. And then finally, yes, the Glue platform would scale seamlessly. However, it requires a lot more people. To, to manage that and scale from your, your enterprise perspective to ensure that the migration goes smooth. So let me pass it on to Jeb, who is going to talk about what we've done to help you seamlessly migrate your ETL. Thank you, Harsha. So we heard many customers talking about how, how are they facing all these challenges. So what we've done for that, we sort of came out with ETL modernization program within AWS. Now, as part of that program, the goal is basically is to modernize legacy ETL workloads, reduce data integration costs but by migrating to AWS Glue, and we would accelerate migration. Now, the benefits of this program is customers would get a risk-free free assessment with partners like Impetus. They would get a no-cost ETL workload analysis uh, and total cost of ownership right, to, assess, to compare their cost of running Glue versus the legacy solution. They will get a high level, uh, they, will be, they will get support with a high level architecture. We will provide them the roadmap to help them understand what, uh, what do we have coming up as new future releases. We would discuss the funding options, right, to offset some of the services to, uh, for migration. We would, we would provide the support throughout the whole journey of migration. And the, uh, we, we, as part of this program, provide automatic code converter to AWS Glue from legacy ETL solution. And that uh, framework is called LeapLogic, and I'm going to pass it on to Barry, who will speak about it. Thank you. Thanks, Yev. Um, yeah, so once enterprises decide to move to Glue, move their ETL to the cloud, the, it's obviously very easy to start doing net new development in Glue. But what, what do you do with all of the legacy ETL that you have in the enterprise, right? There are hundreds, thousands, tens of thousands of old legacy ETL jobs, right? We talked, to, Harsha talked about the challenges, the time, risk, cost of migrating all of those old ETLs um, 
over to Glue. So how do we simplify that? We simplify that through Leap Logic. Leap Logic is a solution that we've built to help accelerate and automate the migration of legacy data platforms, as well as ETL platforms, over to Cloud Native. Um, and we go through a multi-step process leveraging Leap Logic to help accelerate and automate this process. We start with an assessment, as you can see in the, the middle there. The assessment is where we identify and understand what the legacy estate looks like. How many jobs are we talking about? What are the complexity of the jobs? Where does technical debt exist, right? Because as we modernize to the cloud, we don't want to bring technical debt that brings in a garbage in, garbage out scenario, right? So use migration as an opportunity to optimize uh, and transform your environment to cloud native. Once we get through the assessment, we have built a migration plan or a blueprint for our customers to migrate them to Glue. We go to the next step, which is transformation. This is really where uh, a lot of our automation comes into play, where we've built a pattern-based transformation engine that has the ability to automatically convert old ETL tools like Informatica and Ab Initio over to Glue jobs. And we'll get 90, 95% automated conversion straight through the tool, which minimizes manual intervention, reduces costs, and accelerates the migration process. We also do a lot around automated validation. So we're doing uh, automated functional testing of the converted code. So we know that it's operating the way we would expect, and we're getting the results the way we would expect. Um, and finally, that feeds into operationalization because the end goal of a program like this is to be running on the cloud, moving the legacy off on-prem and being able to shut that stuff down and have everything running in the cloud. And that's what we do through our end-to-end -end process and our service delivery. Uh, the end result for our customers is they are 100% cloud native, running on Glue, um, and they can, can shut things off uh, on-premise. Um, as you can see, we do ETL. We also do data warehouses, uh, Hadoop platforms, and get a lot of automation there as well. Here are the business uh, benefits you get from Leap Logic: up to 95% automation, um, near zero risk. You're able to preserve the investments that you've made uh, from your, your legacy environment, the, the business logic and code that has value, right? You're able to preserve that and bring that over to the cloud. Um, and, and obviously, faster time to market. Faster time to market equals less cost. Okay? And that's it. Um, yeah, thank you for your time today. I hope you enjoyed our session around ETL modernization. We are at booth uh, 3041, which is right over there. Thank you.